Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Weekend of Meals video. If you're new here, my name is Jess and I'm a stay-at-home mom of two. I post these videos weekly to share some of the meals we had over the weekend, as well as some clips of family fun. If you guys enjoyed these videos on my channel, don't forget to hit that like button and let's get to the video. For the first dinner of the weekend, we had some simple burgers on the grill. Adam always seasons his ground beef with his secret barbecue seasoning mix, but you can use whatever kind you like, and some minced garlic. Then you just made these into patties and threw them on the grill. To top off our cheeseburgers, we had the usuals, some shredded lettuce, some red onion and pickles, some mayo and mustard, and then on the side we're just going to have some chips. Adam always makes the best cheeseburgers and these were no different. These were absolutely delicious. So as kind of an end to homeschool this year, we're doing a little volcano project. Garrett has been wanting to make this for probably two years now and we just never got around to it. So we're just cutting the sides off of a cardboard box to build our volcano in. We're gonna be doing a paper mache type volcano. Watch it. Well, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. It's a volcano, you ready? <laughs> so we have a used juice bottle, some magazines because I didn't have any newspapers, and then we're gonna make a glue mixture to put it all together. Once we got our bottle taped into our box, we just started making wads of paper to fill it in and turn this into a volcano. For the paper mache part, we just mix together equal parts water and glue. This is definitely something I would have done outside if it wasn't raining because this made a huge mess. It kind of leaked through the box and got all over my table, but luckily it was just Elmer's glue so it wiped up easily and the boys had fun getting messy. Just go. I'm videoing this for mom. Cause mom's doing it too. Ugh. <laughs> what are you doing, Bubba? Okay, I can nope. I saw the monster in the room with one eye. Ew. 
Once the magazine layer was dry, I used some paper lunch sacks and just tore those up and got them glued down on top. That way when we get to painting it, you're not going to see all the words and pictures on the magazine pages underneath. Adam's getting our meat ready for dinner tomorrow night. He's just cutting up this bottom round roast into chunks. Then he's going to put some of this barbecue rub on it and put it in the fridge overnight. He's making what he called poor man's burdens. We had to run to town for a few things today, so I have a small grocery haul for you, and this is actually half Walmart and half H-E-B. I got another gallon of Milo's tea. This is our favorite. We also got some potatoes and broccoli to go with our dinner tonight. Adam's going to be smoking a whole chicken on the grill. I also got some crescent rolls and some cream cheese. I'm going to make us a little treat that I found a recipe for on Pinterest. And to go with that is this lemon pie filling. And I'll be making those coming up in this video. We also got some sour cream for our potatoes some Jack Daniels chicken rub for the chicken we're smoking. We were at the store at lunchtime and the boys were hungry, so we grabbed them a couple of Lunchables. Tomorrow is Adam's birthday, so we got his favorite cake mix and some stuff to decorate it. We also got some foil because we were out. I grabbed a cheap pair of flip-flops because my old ones were broken. These disinfecting wipes were on sale for a dollar, so I grabbed a pack of those just to keep in the bathroom to clean the sink. We got some paint for our volcano. I finally grabbed one of these meat choppers that everybody has. I don't know how much I'm going to like it, but we're going to give it a try. We were also out of some tissues. I grabbed some more printer paper, a binder, and some dividers. I'm finally going to get all of my recipes printed up and put into one place. So Adam's just tying up our chicken and then he's going to season it with some olive oil and this Jack Daniels chicken rub. Then he's going to get that on the smoker for about five hours. So this is the new grill and smoker that Adam got. This is the Masterbuilt Gravity series. He actually sold his Blackstone griddle because he really wanted a smoker. So I'm going to leave a link to this down below if you're interested in checking it out. All of the dinners in this video were made on this smoker. So while the boys were outside playing, I'm getting started on this little dessert recipe that I found on Pinterest. I'll leave that recipe down below. All you need for this is some crescent rolls and cream cheese, some sugar, vanilla, and lemon juice, and I decided to add some lemon pie filling. So 
in my bowl, I'm just gonna combine my cream cheese, vanilla, sugar, and lemon juice. I'll have all the measurements down below for you. And then we're just gonna get these all mixed together until it's smooth. I took my crescent roll dough out of the package and just cut it into eight equal pieces. Then I'm gonna lay these where you can see the layers and spread them out and make a little dent on the inside to hold the cream cheese. The recipe said to add a cinnamon sugar mixture on them, but I didn't want them to be too sweet, so I skipped that step. Then I'm just gonna add on my cream cheese, and on half of them I added the lemon pie filling. Once they were all filled up, these are just gonna go in the oven for 15 minutes. Now the problem is, what do I do with a whole bunch of leftover lemon pie filling? If you have any ideas, let me know. I need to find another recipe to use this up because I don't wanna waste it. Figure something out. Ooh, cheesecake. <laughs> Would you guys just look at how beautiful that chicken is? The skin turned out so crispy, it was hard to get the meat thermometer through. And as you can see, it's also super juicy. This chicken turned out amazing. We just served it with some baked potatoes with some butter and sour cream, some shredded cheese and bacon bits. And then we had some broccoli and cheese on the side and some Heinz 57 and barbecue sauce for dipping. Good song. <laughs> Don't break that, okay? The next day, Adam got those chunks of roast onto the grill. And if you don't want to spend the money on an expensive brisket or have to cook that whole thing for 16 to 24 hours, this is the way to go because it turned out delicious and it had a perfect smoke ring and it was amazing.
So while that was on the grill, I'm getting started making Adam's birthday cake. I'm just throwing together the box mix according to the package directions. boys wanted to help me decorate daddy's cake. A lot of these little letters I got were broken. I guess I should have grabbed one from the back. But luckily we just stuck them in the icing and squished them together and you could barely even tell. Once the meat had been on the smoker for a few hours, Adam threw together a batch of his barbecue sauce, and he also added in some of this Frank's Red Hot Honey Garlic Sauce. We're gonna get those pieces into this sauce, cover it with foil, and cook it for a few hours more. To go with our meat, I just boiled some corn on the cob and then rolled it around in some butter. We also steamed an artichoke and made some butter garlic dipping sauce. These poor man's burnt ends turned out so delicious. You've got to give these a try. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, we would love for you to join our YouTube family. So hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications and we'll see you guys in the next one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear daddy. No one's singing. Happy birthday to dad. And many more. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Blow them out. Yay.